North Star is where I really learned to fundraise and really began to think of fundraising as a political act. We started in 1979 by some young folks who really wanted to do philanthropy different. And they wanted the folks from communities who were doing the work on the ground to be the ones that make the decisions on who gets granted. North Star is very integral you know, to the Mayans' existence. They helped jumpstart our work. And for the longest time, we were doing a lot of unfunded work you know, in New York. I was a volunteer at the New York State Leadership Council. We had reached a point in our organizational life where we were struggling to move to the next stage. It kind of felt like we were still a startup, even though we were around for over eight years. For a number of groups, we're starting with their first funder, which is always a morale booster to a small, young organization. The dollars are important, but also just the affirmation around the existence is so important. I remember one of our very first funders is North Star Fund, and I think that's very telling, you know, that North Star Fund really supports this small grassroots organization that has a big vision to support the community, but don't know where to get their resources. Many funders told us that we just needed to figure some of these things out before they can give us more sustainable funding but North Star saw the potential in us and just kept investing in us and didn't give up when many other people didn't always see us as sustainable or structured enough. One of the founding members, Linda Olikan, she was already working as a domestic worker, but she didn't know what her rights were. She wasn't being given minimum wage, you know, benefits, and all her friends were also being um, taken advantage of by their employers. So they saw the need to form an organization, so that's why they formed the Mayan. What are those issues that are negatively affecting you in your life, your community in your life, and how are we gonna push back against a system that has power against us? So we need to build our own collective power and organizing gives you the basis to do that. This year, the New York Dream Act finally passed and we're waiting for the governor to sign. And now there's a lot more conversation about health care for immigrants, about driver's licenses for immigrants, and that's the kind of New York that we want to see and the kind of New York that immigrants deserve. Change doesn't happen overnight. It happens over a period of time. And so you have to have patience, but you have to be bold and you have to give that support year in and year out. Congratulations, North Star, on 40 years old. Big congrats, North Star, on your 40th birthday. You will always have my love, my heart, my loyalty, and my check. <laughs>